Today is a really exciting day. It's Track Tuesday in Kenya and I can't wait. We are heading to Eldoret to use the track and there's rumours that we have a surprise in store. I hope they come true. Apparently Kipchoge is using the track this morning and we'll get to see him train and wow if that if that ends up being the reality then this is going to be one hell of an experience So we've arrived at Eldoret Track. Pretty busy out there at the moment. Um, it's getting a bit warm, but this should be fun. That's him. That's the goat. And yes, yes, that was Kipchoge that just ran past us. The goat. Unbelievable. Oh, look how smooth they look. What's the session, buddy? 20 times 400. Around 10k pace, is that what I heard? No, it started about 10k and worked down to about 5k. Which is around 78 seconds? Well, that's what I should be doing, but yeah. if I get carried away. Let me see, you're gonna be faster in the first lap uh, just just being here, so yeah. just cruise the first lap. It's pretty inspiring, isn't it? You'll, you'll be <laughs> talking to me and keep joking runs fast. <laughs> right, we're gonna go. Here we go, see you later. Okay, we're capturing some scenes here at Kipchoge Kino Stadium in Eldoret. Just a beautiful morning, 18 degrees. Track is very, very lively. Tons of athletes. Matt, who we're gonna see come around here, is doing, I think, 24, 24 or 400s in around 75 seconds. He's been going a little quick. A little quick the first couple reps, but We'll see how he holds out. Maddie, how are you feeling, buddy? That's tough. Tough? What was the last rep? Did you get down to 75? 118, it was a slow one. Okay, that's, that's yeah, good. I think I need to back off if I'm gonna make it to 20. Yeah. I've gone out a little bit too hard. A little fast. Ease it off, and if I can close strong, then great. Get that Kipchoge magic dust on the track, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's tough. He just passed you, by the way. Did you yeah, see that? I know. <laughs> I know. But that's a... Uh, uh, a moment to remember, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Chogi passing you on the track, looking very comfortable as you end a 400 meter rep. I love it.
hardest workout ever. That's 14 done, and I'm in a world of pain. But just trying to ease off the gas to try and get to 20. So after 15 reps, the news came in that Kipchoge was leaving the track, but before he left, he was gonna take some photos with the runners. So I stopped my session, jogged over to meet the goat. So 15 reps into my 20 by 400 oh, and um, I get the call, Kipchoge's leaving and he's taking photos with everyone. So literally everyone stops their session, runs over and gets a photo with the goat. Uh, what a nice guy, like I can't imagine finish, finishing a session and having to take photos with people but um, yeah, pretty awesome to meet him. Um, yeah, that was pretty epic. get some initial reaction after the uh, workout here. Very tough one. Hey, there he is. You made me do the last one hard. <laughs> you, were, you were cranking at that last 100. Oh, that was a 66. 66? That's a good way to finish the workout. Yeah, really nice. Happy with the workout? And... Oh, I loved it. Yeah? Like, I went off a bit hard. Ease back in the middle. I think I would have made it to the end, but the photos with Kipchoge definitely helped get your breath back a little bit. Absolutely. And then I finished quite strong, so. Very good. Oh. Being on the track, these amazing athletes, just so inspiring. And that's just brilliant. When's the last time you did 20 by uh, 400? Is that a, uh, n a normal track workout for you? It is like a staple, but a staple track session. I very rarely do track, so mm. I haven't done one in a long time. But that was a lot of fun. I think my last one was a few weeks before my last marathon, so uh, it was nice. It was uh, an eye opener for sure. Yeah, he finished it, he looks strong and uh, definitely you'd be in fighting shape when you get home. Oh, I can't wait. All right, there we have it. And that is track done. Track with Kipchoge, who would have thought? So the track day in Eldoret was outstanding. One of those experiences that I'll never forget. Ridiculous, really, to see Kipchoge run in the flesh, to be on the same track as him as he's training, doing your own session, it was just... Uh, there aren't many words that can really describe how much fun I had and how much I enjoyed the whole experience. My session went pretty well, 20 by 400 meters. I know I had that big break in the middle, but it was worth it to get a photo and meet Kipchoge. But I got back to the session, averaged about 75 and a half, 76 seconds um, for the 20, 400 meters, which at altitude is pretty decent. So I was really happy with that. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think I would have gone maybe a little bit quicker if I'd been paced every one, but I was alternating running them solo and then Emmanuel paced a few. So yeah, a really good session banked. But most of all, I enjoyed the experience of running a track session in Eldoret. I thought I'd briefly touch on Kipchoge's training. So on the day they did two times 3000 meters, three times 2000 meters, four times 1000 meters. So 16K of work, all looked really controlled, really smooth. Um, but also pretty fast. So I stuck with him for a whole lap while go me. And I think they must have been doing maybe a, a 3K then or a 2K. And they did the lap in 70 seconds. So that gives you the sort of idea of the control they're running it at. They all looked really smooth and controlled and it was just amazing to witness. 
They took 200 meter jog recoveries and they did those jogs really quite slowly. Um, so they were recovering well, um, but then they were doing these long controlled reps. Kipchoge's training is very similar to the general Kenyan training in a 10. Kipchoge trains in Kaptagat. They have the NN running camp there. They actually have their own track, a dirt track, which they use as well. They mix it up with some sessions at the Kaptagat track and some on the harder synthetic surface of Eldoret. What I've been told by some fairly reliable sources that Kipchoge structure is fairly similar to just the general Kenyan structure, but instead of Thursday fartlek, they do the fartlek on the Saturday, and instead of a Saturday long run, they do the long run on the Thursday. I've been told the reason they do the fartlek on the Saturday and the long run on Thursday is just because it was busier on the Thursday. I don't know if that's referring to the number of people that were doing fartlek on a Thursday or if the roads were busier, but they changed it up so it was quieter. Kipchoge seems to do a lot of controlled efforts on the track, normally 15 to 16K of work, 3Ks, 2Ks, 1Ks. And I've seen in interviews he says he tries to never go like over 90% effort in, in sessions and saves it for race day. I don't think there's anything spectacular with Kipchoge's training. I think he is just a absolute professional. He recovers so well, he's focused, and that brings consistency. He doesn't race any races in his build-up. He just focuses on a slow, gradual, consistent marathon build. And he is just the ultimate professional. So I think that really pays off when you're doing good, solid, hard work with a lot of volume, week in, week out, for a long marathon build and he's shown that he, he's the GOAT. So for the rest of the day, I just recovered and relaxed around the camp. The camp is really nice. There's a pool, there's a little library, there's areas you can work. It's just nice, nice weather. It's, it's a perfect way to recover and relax. One of the other really nice things about the Kenya experience and the camp itself is that it's all catered for, so you don't have to worry about making food. You can just relax between sessions and food will be ready for you at lunchtime and dinner time and breakfast, etc. So my sort of routine was I'd go back to the camp, maybe do some work, maybe take a nap. So then I'd have lunch, which is buffet style lunch. You can have as much as you want. And then in the afternoon, I would relax again, do some work. On the Tuesday track day in the afternoon, we had another seminar, which was really good. Again, we talked about coaching philosophies and different workouts and mental strength with Hugo, uh, who was an elite marathoner, so that was really fascinating. And then after that, we went to the gym and we had like a strength seminar, so we went through different exercises that are really good for runners, uh, different strength practices that can really help you develop as a runner. As I mentioned in one of the previous vlogs, most of the Kenyans aren't doing any of this, but again, the Kenya experience it sort of balances, giving you an experience of how Kenyans train and their lifestyle, but also showing you the other practices that you can put into your running which can help you develop. So despite the Kenyans not doing much strength, there's a gym on the camp. They show you the sorts of things you can take home and implement in your own training, best practices to become a better, stronger runner. Apart from that, I was pretty much on a high the whole day. I absolutely loved it. And as I said earlier, it was just one of those experiences that I'll always remember. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. There's still more vlogs to come in Kenya. I've got another easy day, an athlete's interview, fartlek, and the Q&A, which is gonna be epic. I've had some amazing questions from you all, and I've got some outside help as well, so I am planning on filming that soon, and it's probably gonna be two parts because it's gonna be really long, but yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a really good resource on Kenyan running and what it's like to train in Kenya. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Remember to engage in the comments, like, share, subscribe, and I hope your training's going well.